Hi everybody, this is Agnes from No Sediment and today let's talk about why vintage matters and how it affects wine's quality. Whether you're building a wine collection or simply want to enjoy the full potential of the wines you're drinking, it's important to understand the impact of the vintage on the wine. First, let's discuss why vintage matters and what it really means. And in the second part of the video, I will explore how vintage affects wine's quality and highlight six factors that affect the vintage. People often discuss vintage and its quality, especially if the wine is sourced from one of the classical regions of Europe, such as Champagne, Burgundy, Bordeaux, Rioja or Port. Some regions experience greater weather variability during the growing season than others. Therefore, vintage, for example, is more important in Bordeaux than in Napa, where the weather is more consistent. It makes sense that weather differences can affect specific characteristics of wine, such as acidity, tannin and alcohol level. These weather conditions can also influence the overall quality of the wine and greatly impact its ability to age. And if we are planning to age our wine in the cellars, vintage and vintage variation play an important role. However, if wine is to be consumed within the next year, vintage plays less important role. But it still matters. There are many wines on the shelves that are best enjoyed as young and fresh as possible. Here the vintage plays a different role, it shows how young or old the wine is. For example, majority of New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc rosés, Pinot Grigio and for certainly Vino Verde wines are best to enjoy while they are still fresh and zesty and full of bright fruit. Therefore, in this case, the younger the vintage, the better. But what is vintage? It's a year listed on the wine label, but what exactly does that year signify? Vintage refers to the season when wine has grown, produced grapes and was harvested. However, in the Northern Hemisphere there may be few exceptions when grapes are harvested the following year, such as Eiswein or in rare cases Trockenbären Auslese or Rüster Ausbruch. In these cases the label will still state the vintage the grapes were growing rather than the year they were harvested. In the Southern Hemisphere grapes usually bud and flower in October-November and are harvested in April or March. In this case, vintage on the label will refer to the harvest year. Some wines, like most champagnes and other sparkling wines, port wines and sherry will not have a specific vintage on the label. This is because they are a blend of several vintages, which is essentially a way to achieve a constant style over the years and avoid being affected by variability of weather each year. Now let's talk about six factors affecting the vintage and how they may reflect in the wine. Temperature is one of the most important variables that greatly affect wine style and its quality. Warm and sunny weather ensures that grapes are healthy and ripen to develop the necessary sugar level for the wine. Low temperatures, however, slow down the ripening process and may leave grapes with high and not particularly well-balanced acidity. If grapes are not able to reach full maturity before they are harvested, wine may lack balance. Sour characteristics in white wines and green unripe tannins in red wines will not marry well with other elements in wine and might lead to shorter life of the wine altogether. The same goes for extremely hot vintages which seem to produce wines with very high alcohol levels that are not always in balance with the rest of the elements of wine and often develop quite rapidly in the bottle. Sometimes vintages can be challenging and labor-intensive, greatly affecting yields but not necessarily the quality of the finished wine. Early spring frost or hail, windy and damp weather during the flowering can have a drastic impact on yields. However, if wine is able to recover and season is followed with favorable weather, it might just mean that grapes will be of exceptional quality but yields will be low. Such was 2016 vintage for Reds of Hermitage in Rhone Valley, France. Yields were reduced due to hail event, but it didn't affect the overall quality, which is considered exceptional for that specific vintage. 
Rain and precipitation play a very important role in viticulture, especially nowadays when water availability is an increasingly important topic. It is crucial to consider how much it rains and when it rains. Too much heavy rain just before or during the harvest can cause grape swelling and dilute those precious sugars and flavors, sometimes even causing grape splitting. This can increase disease pressure and ruin otherwise good quality crop. On the other hand, long periods without rain, especially in regions where irrigation is not allowed and drought is accompanied by heat spikes, can cause grapes to burn, shrivel or even drop. Insufficient water during the season can lead to high alcohol levels at best and off flavors altogether in the worst cases. In general, vintage variation is greater in Europe than, for example, in regions like Napa Valley, California, where weather is more predictable. However, in recent years, wildfires have become a significant concern in the United States, Australia, and even Chile. Smoke from the fires affects the grapes, which later translates into wine, having devastating impact on the wine's flavors and aromas. I have tasted several examples of wines made from smoke-affected grapes, and even though the producers tried to do all they could to reduce the impact, those wines still showed irritating smoke-like and ashtray aromas. I will not discuss all the diseases that cause headaches for winemakers, but it is important to note that wet and warm weather, especially if followed right after hail when grapes have been damaged, is favorable to variety of fungal diseases. These diseases can have huge impact on wine's quality and its ability to age. It is best to avoid fungus-affected fruits, but unfortunately, it is not always completely possible. If fruit quality has not been the best, Wines become more susceptible to oxidation, can show unwanted moldy and musty characters and quite quickly lose their fresh fruit flavors. Not all grapes or wines are affected equally by the vintage. There are grapes that thrive in dry, warm and sunny conditions such as Grenache, while others prefer more moisture and lower temperatures such as Sauvignon Blanc. Moreover, some grapes bud late, such as Carignan, and might not even be affected by variable weather of early spring. Just as grapes that ripen early might not be affected of unpredictable weather of the autumn. This is especially important in regions and appellations where different grapes varieties are grown. For example, in Burgundy, the 2016 vintage experienced hazardous weather in the spring, but near perfect conditions for the rest of the season. This resulted in Pinot Noir wines that were much more exciting than the Chardonnay wines produced that year. While in the Mosul, where Riesling is the king, it really matters how the weather affects the grape, as other grape varieties grown there don't have such a significant importance. Another important element to consider is the wine style. While any any form of fungus before the harvest isn't wanted in classical red wine grapes, such as Cabernet Sauvignon and Syrah. There are styles where it is not only accepted but even welcomed, such as luscious wines from Sauternes and Tokai. Therefore, for these wines, a bad vintage will be considered that where noble rot was not able to develop on the grapes. While vintage does matter, we cannot overlook the impact the winemaker have on the final wine. With decisions regarding the harvesting time or making tough choices that result in greater crop loss in order to save the quality, a winemaker can create an absolutely amazing wine exceeding the expectations of the vintage. Also, some vineyards may not be affected by frost or rain and these grapes could be in perfect condition, while most other vineyards in the region were suffering. So very general descriptors and vague vintage rankings might not always reflect of what really is in your glass. As you see, vintage can have a significant impact on the wine's quality and its style. And here is another video you might like, 6 factors that make wine great.